Hi, my name is Amanda Moore and welcome to my channel and we're going to be doing a bit of drama today. Hopefully this is going to be the last day of drama and this is the last time I'm going to cover this Kiki Chanel, Tati and Emily Noel, the once pilot situation, the whole situation that went on. Um, I don't really want to cover it anymore so I just wanted to give, I feel like I've just got to wrap it up, like just wrap up my final thoughts because it's a topic that has been on my mind and it's been so kind of people have got so heated over this and I just wanted to share my final thoughts I enjoy people sharing their thoughts on on you know dramas and you know in the beauty world as well I don't enjoy the drama but I certainly you know like to gain perspective on dramas so um uh, fascinated today because actually Kiki Chanel actually deleted her comment section of uh, saying about death threats bloody hell that is nuts nuts I mean as much as I did see on a couple of previous vids or, or previous vids sorry I'm just gonna oil my just come out the shower um I've got this L'Oreal sleep it smells delicious is l'oreal sleeping oil cream but i'm just going to use that and yeah uh mm, where do i start where do i start this drama just blew up disproportionately this drama blew up into something it never needed to, to blow up into as such uh but i i don't know who side i'm on now because kika chanel uh disabled her comments i think this after about two three hours ago from when i'm filming this and saying she was receiving death threats and such and i'm stuck peeps i really don't know who's to blame hmm i'm stuck because at the end of the day she you know even she should not be receiving any kind of death threats as such yeah I, I kind of agree. I don't think she came off in the best light. Yes, which she didn't. I didn't. I got bad vibes from her. I didn't like it. But there was no way on earth that I would ever, ever, ever send, you know, any kind of death threats to people. But did she deserve it? I don't know. I don't think she deserved any kind of death threats. But... I said in one of my vids earlier, at the end of the day, Tati is the queen of makeup reviews. Tati is, Tati's got very loyal subscribers and to go after Tati is a silly move to make. No one in their right mind would go after Tati. It's not something that's going to lead to anything good. So I was confused why she, why she would be brave enough I mean I wouldn't I mean she she must it, is she just stupid brave outrageous I really don't know or why would you why would you go after Tati like that I know Tati made that you know Kiki Chanel obviously made that emergency response to Tati's makeup revolution video and then obviously Kiki Chanel said all oh, these palettes are amazing was that a publicity stunt was that just to gain views did it backfire on Kiki Chanel because I don't think um she's got very far right of this as such I mean I thought she was stupid being honest I I, I gotta be honest if you're if you're a Kiki Chanel fan I fair enough I'm not going against you but I think it was a silly silly move very silly she's obviously very young she looks she doesn't look very old she's sort of very young and yeah, little sometimes little dogs can't play with the big dogs if you know what I mean sometimes there's a there's a line to cross in terms of you know if you are a little kind of youtuber you've got to be very careful in terms of picking out big youtubers and i i think i've learned that after this drama in fact if i if my youtube channel ever ever goes any further that is a lesson to be learned that the little dogs got to be careful with the big dogs because 
the big dogs have got a lot a lot of people behind them yes they have i i i i've realized that now bloody hell youtube uh, like i said i and i gotta be honest like i said tatty's got the loyalist fans out there you don't go against queen tatty you don't you unless you want your head chopped off you just don't go against her like I said, Kiki Chanel has disabled her comments and if she is genuinely getting death threats, then that's not right. Um, do I blame Tati? No. Um, do I blame Kiki for getting death threats? No. Uh, do I blame people for, you know, even if you are a massive Tati fan, uh, yeah, you shouldn't go through, you should not start on the death threat scenario it's not fair at the end of the day um was i disappointed you know i you know i thought kiki chanel's behavior wasn't um great but there's no way you know the youth stoop that low in any sense sorry i'm just trying to get rid of my uh wrinkles this is l'oreal collagen filler i actually like this L'Oreal Collagen Filler. It's actually quite nice. Um, this is Garnier Moisture Bomb because I've got really dry skin. So I know my skin is so dry that anything that can moisturize it, I will use. So yeah, I I wasn't. I I thought it, it it reminds me a bit like today's drama and yesterday's drama with this. I was. Um, not compelled but certainly watching it in terms of it reminds me of like being in high school you know it did remind me of being in high school you know when someone says something and then someone fights back like when Kiki Chanel like opposed Tati's video and then Tati fought back in self-defense and then all Tati's fans went to get went against Kiki and then Kiki come back uh, it, it the pettiness it reminded me of being in high school and I did I do support I lean towards Tatty in terms of uh, I think Kiki's a bit of a rebel yeah and I think she's like Marmite people love her for that or they hate that personally I think she's a bit silly because she says she's got nothing to lose but to me, 180k subs is something to lose. Uh, I think a lot of people strive towards that amount of subs. I mean, if you get 100k, you, you would be over the moon. So if you've got 180k, you, you would protect that, which is why I don't get why she don't protect those kind of subs she's got. Because I... And I've got to be fair with you. Sorry, I'm going to moisturise my lips. But I've got to be fair with you. If I think... Do you know how Kiki Chanel would have won this argument? And this is what drives me nuts. Do you know how she would have won? Is, you know that apology, that video she posted, my apology to Tati Westbrook. Do you know what? And this was, this was killing me off. If she cares about views, like she said in the apology video, who doesn't want views? Who doesn't want money but i'll tell you what right trust me 100 percent on this one if she'd have posted a genuine apology to tatty westbrook yeah and cried and made out you know not made out but generally apologized to tatty in terms of um i'm not saying you should be fake but i'm saying you should be genuine in terms of she thought it was clever to come back with more hate but she should have come back with a genuine genuine apology she 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 missed the chance i'm sorry she missed she could have hit that bloody nail on the head if she came back with a genuine genuine apology thing is she would have had tatty tatty's fans on her side in terms of her apologizing i'm not saying you know that she should lie no i'm not saying that she li should should lie but she should, should certainly use a loaf if she wants to get anywhere in this world i'm not saying that dishonesty is part of the thing but you've got to use your loaf sometimes 
uh, if you want to get big and famous is you got to play to your advantages you and I'm not saying you should be dishonest but I'm saying I don't think she was honest that she thought that being bitchy to Tati again would kind of prove that she was uh, better but you've got to be in life sometimes you've got to be humble sometimes you've got to just say I did wrong I hold my hands up I apologize I did people wrong and you know I I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry that you know I upset you Tati in terms of I'm sorry I sent you know people hate your way in terms of when she put up that make a revolution video or you know Kiki Chanel could have just said I'm sorry Tati I spread hate your way I didn't mean to it wasn't my intent I just really enjoyed the palettes I loved them and I wanted to defend Emily and I'm sorry if I spread hate your way and that would have been uh, that's how I would have done it I mean I I know what it is sometimes you do get passionate about something yes you do sometimes you can do something and it, it's silly but you're passionate about it but obviously when it hurts someone else if you're passionate about it and you realize you know you think hold on a minute I watched Tati's video about um you know I'm done being quiet and it was like you could see in her eyes that it hurt her so then that's when I would stop that's when I would stop and say what am I doing why am I hurting people and that's when I would give out a genuine apology if she wants to be this big famous pe person she she claims out to be you know with the one bed you know Tatty's in an ivory tower and I'm in my one bedroom apartment. By the way, her one bedroom apartment was absolutely beautiful. She got a roof over her head. Her, her apartment was beautiful. Um, much better than my um, cramped two, three bedroom house. No, I, I am not looking for sympathy. I, I'm just humble that, you know, I've got what I've got. I would never complain about what I've got in the slightest. I'm... You know there's so many people in worse situations than me so I would never complain and I've got this revitalift um, with hyaluronic acid uh, to kind of make my lids better but <laughs> I see how that goes because I've got really bad bags into my eyes so yeah um, what do you think I I neither stand for or against anyone because I think this situation has been more twisted than anyone likes to admit I think I don't know I'm confused uh, was Tati, no, Tati defended herself but then Kiki started it so where'd you go from there uh, I'm not sure Who, who's the culprit who's to blame um, Kiki started it Tati sent her followers after her. Uh, Tati's followers are so loyal, so I wouldn't even go in that direction. Um, I'd have made the first vid, yeah, because obviously it was something she was passionate about, and she was gain gaining subscribers, Kiki, on that first vid because she was extremely passionate about these palettes. But why would you, once you realised you hurt someone, because Tati put out that video and it was plain obvious to Tati's fans that Tati was heard. So, if you were going to make a follow-up vid, like my uh, clickbait for one, so if you're going to make a follow-up, my apology to Tati Westbrook, then make it an apology. Make it a true apology. Because you've heard someone at the end of the day, and... Oh, anyway. Hopefully, this is... I, I hate all this drama, I just, I really do, and I just feel compelled to like bring this issue up, because it drives me around the bend. Anyway, I'm going to finish applying my creams, and I'm off, because I'm going to cook my dinner, and I will see you on my next video. Peace out.